Good day! I'm Dr. T, and welcome to my storage room. Uh, so as faculty, it will be uh, more than likely that you'll be either be expected to attend graduations or at least strongly encouraged to do so. Uh, the decorations at graduations typically are the faculty and the ferns. And by attending graduation, I mean in full regalia. It's pretty obvious how you put on regalia. However, there are a few tips and tricks that will make your life a little bit more comfortable. I should also point out that if you're getting ready to graduate uh, with your doctorate, uh, I didn't do this, but a couple of my friends did, and I was kicking myself for not doing it. And that is, if you're graduating, you're going to walk and go through the ceremony, which I encourage you to do so. It's a nice ceremony, and your family and friends will definitely like uh, watching your research advisor put the hood over your head kind of thing. It's really cool. Anyways, if you're going to do that, instead of buying the surprisingly overpriced one-time use only regalia, go ahead, you're going to spend several times more, but buy the normal faculty regalia and graduate in that. The reason is that you're going to be buying that regalia anyways, and this way you don't buy the one-time use regalia. Uh, that said, it is a little bit on the pricey side, and some schools, depending on where you work, won't make you go to graduation, or they will provide you regalia at a reduced cost. That said, other places I've worked at, you had to rent your regalia, you had to go, and it was like 75 bucks per graduation with two graduations a year. That adds up quick. So you pick up your regalia and you get ready to do graduation. Now, before graduation, obviously you get dressed at home and you have to put on some clothes. Your regalia goes on the outside. It's not the only thing you wear. Uh, I always wear a white shirt with buttons. The white part's kind of just a little bit more traditional. Your cuffs will probably show, uh, so just be aware. And usually the collar will just show just a little bit. Depends on exactly how your regalia is riding at that moment. That said, you want buttons. And this is the first tip. And I'll get to why you want buttons, but you really want a buttoned shirt. Now, for myself, I always go for black pants, black socks, black shoes. What I want is black all the way below the regalia. So once I'm wearing my robes, then everything below them is simply going to be black and it fades away. That way it doesn't draw any attention to my feet and all the attention is brought to my face because I'd rather people look me in the face instead of the foot. If I was to say wear khakis or shorts or something where uh, basically any color other than dark black uh, exists below the regalia, that actually really draws attention uh, to my feet, which, once again, I don't know about you, but I would like people to look me in the face, not the foot. Okay, so my regalia lives in my office. This is a very common tr uh, tactic amongst most faculty, because you only wear it a couple of times, and the only time you're ever going to wear it, you're going to stop by your office first to pick it up. So it moves back here. Uh, I do encourage you pick up a nice coat hanger for this. I've got like a nice cedar hanger for it, and then a coat bag. It's going to keep it protected. Because once again, these things are really expensive, and you don't wear them very often. <laughs> okay, so the regalia is back here. I <laughs> put the hat in a bag. Uh, that's just going to go off to the side for the second. That's going to be the last thing I do. Well, second to last thing. Now, you'll notice I'm going to be doing a little bit of work getting this off, and I'm going to show you why, because one of the tricks, well, first let's just take the bag off, and that just goes, sits on chair, and I take the hanger off. Now, obviously, your regalia is comprised of two parts. You've got the robe, and you have the hood, which is in reality more of a cape. Now, all but the cheapest sets, you'll notice your hood has a string that goes from one side of the hood to the other. This is going to keep it from opening up and being very voluminous and falling off. It makes it a lot easier if this guy's connected. Now, almost all sets are also going to have some kind of loop in the back that that string can go through and that's going to attach it to the back so it's not flopping around like a cape, even though it basically is a cape. If you put this on in advance, you can put this on yourself. Once this is on, once you're wearing it, you won't be able to string this up. So you either can have somebody help you do this, or you put this on in advance, and that means putting it on is a little bit tricky, but not bad. Robe goes around, and hood goes over your head. Fairly straightforward, and then you flop around like a, a fish and get everything sorted up. Now, a lot of faculty, especially first couple times they go through graduation, get their hood on backwards. Your hood will have kind of a point, the point goes down, and there will be this little 
black thread. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. Uh, this guy is why you are wearing, and I know this is not showing up on camera at all, but this guy is why you are wearing a, a button shirt. So this thread, you kind of lower it down and you're trying to do a nice balance and you're trying to get it on one of the buttons. That way, notice how it's pulling the hood down a little bit. This way, it's not choking me. It's not riding up. That's going to keep it a little bit cleaner, and it's going to make me a lot more comfortable. And at this point, a lot of regalia, at least mine, has a little clip that I can clip that keeps that there. Uh, it's currently unzipped, which if I'm walking uh, to graduation and, you know, I'm not in kind of full regalia mode, I'll leave this unzipped. It's perfectly legit. I may even leave it unclipped just so it gets a little bit more air. I also typically wear a fairly lightweight shirt while doing this. But once it's time to get in line and walk out on the floor and be part of the decorations. This gets zipped up. The little zipper gets hit and boom, all I need is the hat. And of course, um, the kind of full faculty ones, the, the ones that you normally wear, not the cheap one-time use ones, but the ones you uh, buy to use over and over again, typically come with a TAM. Uh, when it comes to hats, you got a couple of options. Uh, some schools have like specialty hats and specialty robes. Uh, mine's a very standard look one, uh, but some schools have really cool stuff. But if you're going normal, you've got the mortarboard or you've got the TAM. Now, one of the main differences between the faculty style and the graduate style is that the tassel on the TAM is going to be fixed in place. Uh, this makes your life a lot more comfortable. Now it's on, and you can probably remember from graduation, that tassel bounces around like crazy, and it makes life really uncomfortable. This way, this is locked in place. I wouldn't mind it a little farther back, to be honest, uh, but this is going to make your life a lot more comfortable. If you've got a mortarboard that you're wearing, and if the tassel's not fixed in place once you've graduated, I would go ahead, get a little bit of arts and crafty, and fix it in place. That way it's not bouncing around, making your life uncomfortable. Okay, so yay, you're in full regalia. Taking this off is basically exactly what you think of. It's fairly straightforward. Now, what I recommend doing, and it's kind of fairly customary, once you get back to your office, you've got that nice wooden hanger, you take it off, you hang it up. You don't put the bag on it, just let, you let it air out for a couple of days, uh, because frankly, you've only worn it for a few hours. Uh, dry cleaning is expensive, and I've definitely known faculty uh, friends who have sent their regalia off to dry cleaning, and it didn't come back, or it came back in multiple pieces. These guys don't do well with dry cleaning. So my intention is when I got it, I hosed it down with some Scotchgard, and it may only get dry cleaned once or twice in my career. Because once again, you only wear it for a couple of hours a year. Let it air out. It's the outermost layer. You're wearing clothes underneath. It's not going to get dirty if you're careful. Obviously, if it gets dirty, you're going to have to address it and make sure it gets nice and clean. So with that said, have fun. Enjoy graduations. Last pro tip. If you can be a faculty marshal, do it. It's a lot more interesting and a lot more rewarding being there and, you know, waving the students as they're going up, you know, come on, come on kind of thing, than it is just sitting there watching a bunch of students you've never met, hoping for the one or two students you've had, and then you can really clap sincerely. So once again, if you can be a faculty marshal, go for it. And with that said, have a wonderful time.